Thank you for joining me for your weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 11th of November for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. There's an absolutely brilliant angle between the Sun and Pluto this week. But it is going to link in with the full moon, which occurs on Tuesday in the sign of Taurus, which is very much to do with security. Whereas Scorpio, the sun, is very much to do with transformation. In a more practical sense, it can be about longer term finances, business, investment, entrepreneurship. In this opposition with the moon, something may need to be realigned, but Pluto is going to assist being in a very positive angle to both positions. Pluto is very positive if we can sacrifice ourselves to its influence. So if we resist change because we do want to maintain the status quo at all costs, it can get a bit bumpy. But if we just recognise that change doesn't have to be in a physical or material sense, it can be inside of ourselves. So if there has been something that's been stuck about how you feel about yourself, how you feel about your interrelations with someone you're intimate or close to, or you share a financial partnership, well, I think that Pluto can shine light into the darker corners of this, the hidden side, because the more insight that you can gain from Pluto, the better it's going to be. So this is a full moon January that I think can be very positive. There's also a terrific angle this week between Mars in the sign of Libra, very much about balance, but it's forging a great link to the ruler of Libra, Venus, and also Jupiter, which themselves are in a conjunction. This combination can make us very confident. It can give us the push to be more playful, to socialize more, to interact. Whereas that Scorpio energy can be a bit sheltered, maybe a bit wary of what people's motives are, quite rightly. So when it comes to money or investment, I wouldn't be rushing in where angels fear to, to tread, simply because Mars and Jupiter are pushing us to be that much more risk-taking. But what I think they can do is ask us to be a bit more abandoned, especially when it comes to our social situations. Just be conscious that if you meet someone who seems amazing, and it's entirely possible with Jupiter and Venus in a conjunction, because Neptune is squaring up to these two and provides a kind of swirling mist of unreality, if this person or a scheme you're told about seems better than anything you've ever heard about before, well, they might be, but just like the rest of us, they've probably got a few catches, glitches or bumps to their uh, modus operandi or their personality. So just stay res resolutely grounded. And of course, with Mercury still tracking backwards, that does provide another potential for mischief. But it will be next week that Mercury goes forwards in Scorpio and Mars, the co-ruler of Scorpio, also rules, uh, moves into Scorpio. And that's going to be a very exciting phase to look forward to. Your specific forecast areas suggest that you could encounter someone really influential this week. And this could be critical around a business deal or if you're trying to raise funds or you need the approval of someone in some kind of way. It's also possible that you could find yourself with quite a fated attraction to a particular strand of action, or will it be a person? Your relating sector is really lit up magnificently. Mars, your ruler, is in your opposite sign, giving you extra self-confidence, but it's linking wonderfully well with both Jupiter and Venus. These are the two benefits, both the lesser and greater benefit in the guise of Jupiter. So they're naturally very fortunate, and Jupiter is obviously in its home zone of Sagittarius. So travel, or a connection with someone who's very different to you, or some kind of new experience, can prove to be particularly enjoyable and vivid for you this week. It's just you need to watch the nitty gritty, because Neptune provides a swirling mist of unreality in the most psychological part of your scope, which could see you doubt an opportunity when it's okay, but also Mercury is tracking backwards. So if you're waiting to hear about a financial situation, 
it's possible you may have to grit your teeth and wait a bit longer. But the good news is that next week you're likely to get uh, the clarification that you really uh, re require. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and discover what 2020 will hold for you based on your personal birth data of time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get the rest of this year free and 30% off. But for now, good luck and goodbye.